A stumbling heartbeat has brought you to me. Despite my eyes being blinded by fright. In the dark, you heard the lone madman's plea. Will you listen at the end of night? While the sun and stars count the hours down I'm meant to watch their pictures frozen still Until they let me wear the silver crown. It's embarrassing at this point. Oh, come on. It's a team sport. In the end, it doesn't matter who tosses the quaffer through the post as long as they're wearing red. Why is it always you? I'm natural. If Fortescue didn't protect you on Mighty House, we'd tell him wouldn't get you anywhere. You're right, Mimi. Almost like that's exactly what beaters are for. I bet. You didn't bring out anything. Oh, you meant it. You actually want to study? Yes, you clown. I'm not trying to fail potions. Boo hoo, Brongs. Look at you, becoming part of the system. It's cool growing up. You should try it. <laughs> not in this lifetime. But you do you. I'll see you later. You two have fun together. Could you stop that? Sorry? You're mumbling? No, I'm not. Stir powdered moisture to the mixture. Powder? 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 There! What? You're doing it again. Sorry, love. I'm trying to concentrate here, not make new friends. Potter! Are you obsessed with me or something? It's sopophorus. Now, shut up. Well, how would you know that? Verita serum is not that hard of a potion. And you bring water to simmer. Not boil it. Huh? First step. Otherwise, Moonstone won't react. How do you know all that? I pay attention in class. But that's six year material. So, do you have any other notes? Sure. Would you also want me to sit your exam? Yeah, that would be helpful. Of course it would.
until they let me wear the silver crown however long however long I need to wait I will however long I need to wait I will and you with me will wait shall we and you with me shall wait or so I pray to watch the ribbons of my breath dry out I know that though I know that though we are apart you stay and though I oh sorry it's a public bathroom yes sorry I just didn't expect anyone to be here what happened to you I didn't even know Amatentia was going to be part of this exam. Honestly, I don't think I would have gotten any points if not your help the other day. I can see that. Are you so obsessed with school that you study even on the toilet? I'm not studying. Then what's that? Hey! Hey, 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 hey. No. Give it to me. Give it to me. These are poems. Oh shit, you cretin. Are they yours? No. They're good. But what do you know about poetry? Nothing. I don't have to understand something to appreciate its beauty. You will not tell anyone. Are you serious? I mean it. No one's seen them. Those deserve an audience. Potter. I'm serious? Well, definitely. Don't. Oy. If you give me a reason not to. Is this not convincing enough? What do you want? First, would you kindly take your wand out of my face? Now, as you know, I am uh, currently experiencing some minor turbulences on my educational path. So what? Are you expecting me to give you private potion lessons? And then you add the peppermint leaves. But remember to keep them whole, don't cut them. Why does that even matter? It completely changes its structure. What you would consider an unnecessary detail can't cause damage you can't even fathom. A peppermint leaf. Cutting peppermint leaves releases the spiculus extract, which is highly reactive with gemstones of medium value, which moonstone is. The combination of substances will cause the gemstone's core to implode. As a result, the potion will heat up beyond the swoopstakes threshold, leading to an explosion with a radius of up to 10 feet. You would blow up the school potter. Why do they even teach us that? If you know how to do it, then it's not really good. Why are we even here? Because I don't want anyone to find out that I'm getting help from a fourth year. Or worse, that you are set fourth year. You're serious, no? Godric, no. He would bully me until the day I die. Let him. You scare me. Good. Now. What does it smell like for you? What? I'm what Sulfur. Tears of a Gryffindor. Death. Got it. There's something inherently wrong with you. How's the poem thing going? We don't have today. What was that? I don't know what 
what you're talking about. Why was James Fulton greeting you? Was he? <laughs> I've been having him potions. Ew. Are you a Gryffindor lover now? It's just pure entertainment. Yeah, sure. Entertainment. <laughs> Regulus Black himself, creeping up on me just to get a glimpse of my collarbones. You're wearing a jumper. So you did want to see them? Oh. <laughs> Fuck off. Don't tell me you're a prude. Big match on Saturday. Did I hear that right? Are you saying you're interested in my life? I'm just being polite. There's no shame about caring about your friends. I don't care about Because you know what? That's actually a good idea. I tell you a fact about myself, and then you tell me one. We're playing against Ravenclaw. I can't remember ever being this stressed before a match. They've been mad this year. Now your turn. The poems. What are they about? I never agreed to that. Too late. Come on, tell me. What inspires you? Who's your favorite artist? Oh, if you don't want to talk about it, maybe I can read something you wrote. I won't say anything if you don't want me to. I'll just read it and then I... Real care. My favorite poet and my inspiration to start writing in the first place. Never heard of him. Why would you? He was a muggle. Why do you know him then? I came across his works by accident. I'd just been reading a lot, I guess. Muggle literature impresses me. I like the way their artists can find magic in the world that likes it. Well, I guess I answered two of your questions. Now you owe me one. Well then, why are you here? To study with you. Then where's your portion notes? Must have forgotten them. cost and how hard are they to buy? There's no way your case is lost, so why don't you just try? Then you add the list. You never told me what it smells like for you. I know that it's not easy to have no brain cells left. It makes you seem too sleazy. James, you coming? Coming! And leaves your heart bereft. But what if, just for once, dear, you'd try to think it through? And then get us to hear it? That could be something new.
How much cologne did you use today? Excuse me? The corridor reeks of you. I thought we were trying to be discreet. Um, today you're going to brew your own immortent, yeah? Mm, you've got it last time, so now it's just putting it into practice. Um, yeah. So who should I give it to? Are you serious? You should not give it to anyone. Amartente is an incredibly dangerous potion. It completely takes away the other person's right to consent. And Are regulars, you gonna... I know, and I'm joking, and all that, but hypothetically. What do I care? Uh, come on, just pretend you're fun for a second. What about the redhead? What's the name? The girl with the curly hair? Oh, Evans. Nah, she's like a sister to me. What about... I mean, I could give it to you, but you obviously don't need oh, it. Oh, don't flatter yourself. Oh, so... You're not madly in love with me? Oh, I, I can change that! No! You did. Yes! <laughs> A stumbling heartbeat has brought you to me, despite my eyes being blinded by fright. In the dark, you heard the lone madman's plea, but will you listen at the end of night? While the sun and stars count the hours down, I meant to watch their pictures frozen still, until they let me wear the silver crown. However long I need to wait, I will. And you with me shall wait, or so I pray, to watch the ribbons of my breath dry out. I know that, though we are apart, you stay. And though I'm far, my soul will come about. Until the end of time, you'll flow the same. And if I am gone, do know, I am to blame. <laughs> 